What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. As you can tell by the video title, today I'm going to give you my favorite hair products for guys. So whether you're a guy watching this looking for a couple new products or a girl who has a boyfriend that you think might need some new stuff for their hair, keep watching. So more recently, I have been growing out my hair a little bit longer. Now it's not super long in comparison to some people, but I have realized that longer hair does require quite a bit more maintenance and you need to pay attention to a little more. But I do find that there are a lot more options with longer hair, uh, styling wise. You can put product in it, you don't have to put product in it, you can style it certain ways, whereas with shorter hair, it's basically one way and that's it. I am not a connoisseur of any sorts when it comes to men's products uh, yet, just because I'm fairly new to having longer hair and I'm just trying to figure out what I like best. So I have a couple hair products, uh, like styling products, and then I have a brand of shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to show you guys. So let's start with the shampoo and conditioner. My favorite go-to most recently is Woody's. So if you guys haven't heard of Woody's, they're a great men's grooming brand. Uh, I've had their pomade before in the past. I just ran out and it's super expensive and I actually got these on sale. These shampoos and conditioners are formulated just for guys. They don't have a crazy fragrance or anything like that, but uh, they are very minty and they do actually cool your scalp. So both the shampoo and the conditioner, after you put them in, and especially if you let the conditioner sit for a little while, it'll actually cool your scalp and it'll feel like it's almost tingling, which is <laughs> crazy awesome. So uh, highly, highly recommend, you know, it makes your hair feel super light. It doesn't strip it of all of its oils like a lot of uh, shampoos and conditioners do. And I really, really like it. I can't remember exactly how much they are. Uh, I try not to use them up all at once. I've had this for quite a while now. Definitely uh, a good option to have if you are looking to switch it up. Woody's daily shampoo and daily conditioner. Uh, very, very good products for cleaning your hair. Next, one of my um, more or less go-to styling products. It is called Fiberfill. Uh, it's a very, very light product, so it's not gonna hold your hair super strong in any position. Uh, it's more just to maintain moisture, I find. You know, I have very thick hair, and that means it will do basically whatever I want it to, but it also has some waves in here that are really hard to tame. And so this isn't really going to hold it very, very strong. And so if I had this in my hair right now, it probably would be a bit more wavy. And as you can see, it's, it's a little bit harder right now. It's not as fluffy and it's not as free. But this is really good if you want just like a light hold and something just to kind of keep the moisture in the wet, the quote wet look. Um, I know after I wash my hair, my hair gets super poofy. Like if I don't put anything in it, I have like a fro. And so I, this sometimes I'll use just to maintain moisture without holding it down too, too much. So this is fiber fill and it's very light. As you guys can see here, it's almost like a, like a cream. It almost looks like a lotion. And uh, so it's not very thick at all. So if you're looking for a light hold, definitely check out fiber fill. Next, and this is actually what I have in my hair now, and this is only my last product, so there are only a couple products here. I don't, I haven't really experimented too, too much, but um, this is by far my favorite for just everyday styling, whether I'm going out um, for the night or whether I'm just going out for the day, you know, whatever it is, and it is lay right. This is a matte hold. It doesn't make your hair super shiny. Uh, this is what I have in my hair right now. It's, it's a cream, but it performs kind of like a gel at the same time. It holds your hair pretty well, but it doesn't uh, make it hard or crusty. Pretty flexible, but it is pretty sturdy at the same time. This is what it looks like. And it is a little bit, a little bit thicker, as you can see. Uh, that's what I have in my hair right now. I, again, I really like it. It's a really good all-purpose, and it's really light on the hair. It washes out easy, super easily. It's not an oil base. It's a water base, and so it will wash out with just a little bit of shampoo and warm water. So highly, highly recommended. It is a little more expensive. I think it's almost like $20 per uh, container and this is four and a quarter ounces and uh, but highly recommended you don't have to use a whole lot you can put in a couple coats I guess if you call it that so I usually put in one massage it in and then I'll uh, put it in another time just to really kind of form my hair the way I want it definitely put this in with dry hair I'll wait for my hair to dry about like 90% of the way my hair dries like that and so it doesn't take long but uh, it's gonna hold better with dry hair so that's my recommendation when it comes to using that product but that's gonna do it I mean 
as I said, I'm fairly new to the uh, hair product game. So I am experimenting, I'm figuring out what works best for me, but that is what I like most for right now. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.